Hi folks, back again, Bass World Chronicles number 150, and this is sort of a two-parter, but I'm going to uh, just do it on uh, one, and uh, if you watch more than a couple of these, you know that I'm, well, I'm a wannabe skeptic, if you will, and uh, a lot of what I rant and rave about are the so-called complementary alternative medicines and the integrative medicines and chiropractors and on and on and on. And a lot of folks who are on the other side, so to speak, those who use all this stuff, they always say that big pharma and doctors and this, that, and the other, that they're, they're the real culprits out there. Well, I think any of us who are what I would hope I'm fair-minded, whatever that means, uh, <laughs> my production assistant is shaking her head that I'm not fair-minded. But anyway, give the devil his due, if you will. Uh, what I want to talk about now, and just be brief, is that, yeah, I, just because I don't believe any of that stuff works and there's no evidence that I have found to suggest even remotely that any of it works, I will also say that the pharmaceutical companies bite the big one at times too. Now, obviously, there's thousands of medications out there that without them, we would be in big trouble. We truly would be in big trouble. But they also do some dastardly things. Uh, now, recently, uh, Forest Pharmaceuticals, uh, they were brought up for obstruction of justice and distribution of unapproved drugs uh, and some other charges. Uh, one thing, they, and this was uh, uh, one of the uh, drugs mentioned was Celexa, which is supposed to be an antidepressant. Uh, and what they were doing is they were doing what's called off-label. In other words, they were using and promoting the use of the Celexa for children, which this is off-label because, of course, it's never been tested in children. They also said that they were giving cash, free meals, and extravagant entertainment, what or no, lavish entertainment to doctors, whatever lavish means as opposed to regular entertainment. Uh, so I thought I would mention that. The other thing I wanted to mention <clears throat> is that uh, these medical device companies, uh, Johnson & Johnson being the one that most of us have heard of, these are the companies that make like artificial hip gizmos and any kind of things that you like to <laughs> insert in our bodies that surgeons use, uh, that there were over 40 orthopedic surgeons who were paid more than a million dollars who wrote research papers ostensibly or papers about how to use these devices and how great these devices were and the biggest percentage in fact fewer than half of them disclosed in the paper that they were paid by these companies and that just ain't right now I'm not saying that just because they were paid does does that mean that we should uh, feel as though they're lying or conniving or shading or any of that. That in and of itself, uh, uh, I don't think would, uh, what's the word here, condemn them for whatever it is they're doing as far as when they do the so-called research. But surely we need to know that if someone's being paid by uh, a, a, a medical device company, in fact, $8.9 million? and they're writing research papers? We should surely know that. So anyway, for the handful of you who come by here and occasionally complain or leave me negative comments about uh, my position on the so-called CAM and all of the other stuff, just want to let you know that my eyes aren't completely closed, maybe partially closed. <laughs> but anyway, as Pat Condell would say, ladies and gentlemen, peace, peace.